Don't do it. Hey. Be nice. So today I'm out here trying to finish up the market garden, but it's windy and things are flying everywhere. So I'm going to take a little break and talk to you guys about what I'm doing with the market garden. If you haven't seen the other videos, I'm starting a market garden this year. I have not ever done market gardening. I've never sold produce. It's something I'm deciding to try this year. You never know what you can do until you try. Okay, so before you start a market garden, you have to have a market. I got lucky. I found a little market. I've done some research at work and I found that I can actually sell some things at work. So I asked around with my co-workers and I asked what they would be interested in. They're all interested in salad greens, tomatoes, peppers, those kind of things. They don't want the fancy stuff. They don't want stuff they never heard of. They want simple salad greens, maybe some carrots, radishes, lettuce cucumbers, simple stuff. So I'm going to keep it simple with just those crops. In comes my market garden because now I have a market. I would not suggest anyone start growing this amount of food if you don't have someone already lined up to sell it to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell it. <laughs> so I'm going to sell some salad greens, things that I can achieve, and things that I accounted for um, in my spending. So I didn't spend a lot of money on this market garden. The second part of the market garden is you need to set goals and have a plan. So I set my goals really low. 20 bags of salad greens. Um, I'm going to get five pounds for five bucks. We'll see. Maybe some cherry tomatoes for sale. Everybody loves those. I'm not successful at growing cucumbers, so that's off the table for me. I have too many pests and um, a lot of problems with the, with the disease, uh, the wilt, uh, mosaic, mosaic virus. Um, I just don't want to count on that crop to sell. So I'll have some planted, of course, for myself. If I get an abundance, I'll sell that. So I kept my goal simple, 20 bags for the season, and we'll see if that works. That way, it's easy to achieve that goal. I won't feel like a failure if I don't reach it, but it's so small, I better reach it. Always make sure you have your goals. The other thing is to have a plan. Now, I had planned this market garden for a couple years now, but I also wanted to move and buy a bigger place with bigger land. So I didn't want to tear my yard up. But I actually got tired of waiting. So here we are, I'm tearing up the yard. I really want to test the waters here. If you don't figure out and learn how to grow your own food, how are you ever going to sell it? My goal is to be a homesteader and a farmer. I want to sell produce, I want to raise chickens, possibly goats, possibly pigs. I want to do it all, just like you guys probably. My plan was to get my market garden ready in November. I would put the cardboard down and the mulch down and let it sit all winter long. But life got in the way, so I didn't get that stuff done until last month. I'm still working on putting the cardboard and the mulch down, as you see. I'll make the season. Um, but plans change, and you need to account for things that happen in life. So I had a plan, and right in the middle of me starting my market garden, my roof blew off. So I kind of had to put this on hold. As you can see, the boots are still waiting for someone to come 
fix it? Yeah, that's right. We had a big storm and my roof blew off. But that's not really too bad. It could have been worse. It kind of threw off my planning schedule and this garden should have already been done. But hey, that's life. There's only one more thing you need and that's supplies. This is a market garden that's a trial. I'm not going to put thousands of dollars into this thing. I'm going to make sure that it's cost feasible. As you can see uh, from the other videos, I got a bunch of cardboard from a local dealership. They had the biggest pieces and they're free. I got a bunch of mulch from Chip Drop. <laughs> Chipdrop.com. Um, check them out. They're not available in every state, but they're in most states and that's all free. The basics I got for free. All I have to do is buy a truckload of topsoil, which will probably cost me about $65. On top of that cost, there's the seeds and the trays, the seed sorting supplies. So my seeds are cheap. I get my seeds at Dollar General. They go on sale. I buy them a year in advance and I pay like three cents per pack. So I get all the seeds. They know me at these dollar stores. I've been doing it for like seven years. So they actually have a box for me when I come and they know once they go on sale, they'll start seeing me. So they can set aside a box at my local ones. My seeds will be cheap. The trays aren't gonna be cheap. Now, uh, you can get Walmart trays for like five bucks. If you're starting out, use those. It's the cheapest method. This year, I kind of sprung for a little bit better quality trays. I got them from a mega store. It costs about $40. So I'm looking at $100 maximum for this market garden to start. Um, I don't want to go over that budget because that then cuts into my profits. Hopefully, I'll be successful. If not, I live and I learn. Sounds great, right? It's still a lot of hard work. Now what? Now you gotta grow it all, right? And then you guys can come along for the ride. See where I fail, see where I succeed. Um, I'll show it all to you. I just want to learn and I'm happy to help others learn. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. You guys have a wonderful day. Catch you on the next one.